Oh, see, see, we got to put our aprons on. This one's yours. Welcome back, y'all. We are making our recipes for the baking contest this afternoon. It's not until tomorrow, but we're gonna go ahead and make them today. That way, if anything goes wrong, you know, we have plenty of time to make something else. So I'm making a sweet potato pie. Now, I've made lots of sweet potato pies, but I'm gonna make a candied pecan crust for this sweet potato pie, and I've never done that before. We already made the candied pecans yesterday. I have two jars over here that I saved back because whenever Titus and all the boys saw the candied pecans, they were in danger. So I put some in these jars to keep back for me and Cece because she's also gonna use some of them to put on top of her cookies. So we already got those made. I've got my sweet potatoes in the Instant Pot now. Another reason we're doing it kinda early this afternoon is I'm gonna need the Instant Pot for supper later. So I need to go ahead and make the sweet potatoes because they do perfect in the Instant Pot. They peel so easy, mash beautifully. Cece's already getting all of her stuff over here. She has her recipe in her secret book. She got this from Walmart, but it's in the little Claire's section at Walmart so cute so she's getting all her stuff together for the first part of her recipe she has a harder recipe than me y'all hers has lots of ingredients but this is what she wanted to make pumpkin sugar cookies and then she's gonna put a uh, what kind of glaze cinnamon a maple cinnamon maple glaze. cinnamon glaze on top of the cookies I'm just over here mashing sweet taters lock it she wanted to use the KitchenAid this time and then that way it doesn't move around and stuff is your bowl locked in yeah okay now you can start I need the mini food chopper. Ooh, almost hit my face. I'm gonna go ahead and make the crust. Now, for this pecan pie crust, since I need to bake the sweet potato filling anyway, I'm not gonna bake it yet. I'm just gonna bake it with the pie. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and crush up these pecans. Now, for this pecan pie crust, the recipe called for pecans, sugar, cinnamon, melted butter, and I think I think that was it. Cinnamon, sugar, melted butter. Anyway, we already have the candied pecans, so we're not gonna add any cinnamon or sugar because it's already on these pecans. We are gonna need the melted butter though. We're having sunshiny days, y'all. Several days in a row full of sunshine. So when Manly wakes up from his nap, Titus should be here by then, and we're gonna go set up the hay bales and stuff out in the yard. I think this whole jar, we'll, we'll see. We'll measure it when I get them all crushed up. Oh, my butter overflowed. <laughs> Now, let me see if I have two and a half cups crushed here. Okay, I've just got about two cups here, so I need to crush up a little more. <laughs> that quarter teaspoon's hard to do because it's so little. It smells really good. Maple extract. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. I need to borrow this half cup from you. Okay, so for the pecan crust, we're gonna go ahead and put in the two and a half cups of crushed pecan, crushed candy pecans. We're gonna pour in the melted butter, four tablespoons. Okay, I'm just gonna mix all of this together. I feel like I might need a little more melted butter because some of mine did spill out in the microwave. We'll see. I think that's gonna be good. I don't think I need any more butter. It's fine. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and press this into the pie plate. Okay, the crust is ready. Now, if you were just making the crust, you would bake this right now. But like I said, we're gonna put the sweet potato pie filling in it first. So I'm just gonna sit this over to the side and we're gonna release the pressure on the potatoes. Oh, there's already, it's already slow released. <laughs> Go ahead and take this off so they can be cooling down for me just a little bit. Look at that cookie dough. That looks good, Cece. I'm gonna use the KitchenAid too to mix the sweet potato pie filling. So when Cece gets all of her cookies on the pan, then I'll wash this out and mix the sweet potato stuff. I put a little sugar in this bowl for you because sometimes when you flatten them, it might want to stick to the cup. All you have to do then is just dip it in a little bit of sugar and they won't stick. Cece 
wants to save the rest of her cookie dough for later. So we're just gonna make these two pans right now. Now for this pie, if I were just making mashed sweet potatoes, I would not worry about this. But I don't want the pie to be a funny color. So the ends that have, you know, these little spots on them, I'm gonna take those off. Okay, Cece's gonna make her glaze now for the cookies. She's putting in like a, I don't even know if that was an eighth, like maybe a sixteenth of a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Sissy's afraid she'll put more than a drop of the maple extract. There you go. You done with the cinnamon? Yeah. All right, she's gonna pick out the four that she wants to take to the baking contest. And we'll wait and do another glaze for those tomorrow. That way it'll be a fresh glaze on them. Or we have a lot of cookie dough left. She could just make bake some fresh ones tomorrow before we go to the contest. Oh, you're going with some cinnamon sugar on there first. Okay. So she's got the glaze, a little sprinkle of cinnamon sugar, and then the candied pecan in the center. Pumpkin sugar cookies with a cinnamon maple glaze topped with a candied pecan. Are you gonna have a bakery one day? Yeah. Can I work there? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna taste test this one. I'm just gonna scoot the candied pecan over. That is so good. <laughs> All right, the sweet potato pie is out. This though takes forever to cool down. So I probably won't even slice into this until we get ready to leave for the fair. So I'm just gonna let it cool down completely, cover it and then stick it in the refrigerator. As long as it cuts right, I think it's gonna be really pretty. It looks really nice with the orange and the brown pecan crust. Just hope it cuts smooth. meal plan for this week but when I saw that one at a good price it was added to the meal plan. Now I'm gonna wash up some dishes then we'll go ahead and make the cornbread. We're trying to decide where we want to put the fall hay display. We normally put it right here, but the swing is right here. So you're not going to be able to see it. Like if the swing is right here and plus when the kids swing, they'll always be hitting it, you know, right here, like facing this way, what facing I think this way. What need to do is probably, they want to be able to swing. I was just getting an idea where we need to put it. Yeah, do it one more time. <laughs> That's exactly how they swing to us. That's a frog. You scare any of you people away? <laughs> just get outside and be like, okay, they didn't make me mad when they come down the road. Right when they get coming down the road, just be like. <laughs> Look, what about right here, though? Well, I'm afraid people won't even see it. Well, it's like I said earlier. If they go up, they got to come down. Right here? Yeah. See, we want to give joy, fall joy to the world. <laughs> so we... <laughs> That's what we're trying to do. We want to spread the fall cheer. Uh, I ain't against that now here. People come down the road like, hey. You be the scarecrow. Fall joy. Smell the cinnamon? Hold on, stop your car, sir. Please go get me the cinnamon spray. <laughs> no, the burn stick, and you be waving burn it at stick, them. Yeah, <laughs> comb their hair with it right quick. <laughs> now you feel it. You're come welcome. On. Okay, well, how about this, Buster? <laughs> If that don't work, I'll just dump a whole bunch of Reese cups in there and be like, get on up the road. <laughs> okay, you stand there and let's go up here, Sissy, and see if we would I'm see I'm going like a scarecrow right now. <laughs> hmm. Looks like I need to clean out the cow pen. 
Wait. I just got finished milking, George. I'm going back to the house, eat some cereal. Yeah, that'll be better. He's going to be here for several weeks. Yeah, let him rest. <laughs> oh, man, he got another one. Okay. There's pieces. What up here? This for the scarecrows. 